<laughs> um, interesting. Ten wind seal fragments. How do I even get those? A citrus cutter. Not long ago, a gigantic dracolich with a castle on its back flew over the temple. A dangerous man calling himself Dracoth led an undead army into the, attempt, er, into the temple and attacked us without warning. They took no prisoners, showed no mercy, but once Dracoth had the white dragon box, he and that army left. The Temple of the Four Winds is an ancient place, and its walls were in need of repair, but the undead army left them in ruins. With the temple walls destroyed and the local monsters began came in, began there destroyed the local monsters began coming in and here the flood look up oh, god coming in here and looking for food and treasure we were trapped here looking after our injured brothers until you cleared the way thank you um white dragon box priestess celestia yeah, I said that right. I don't know why I thought I screwed it up for a second. Of the Light Temple left the White Dragon Box in our care. Inside is the egg of a dragon. Oh, but it's no ordinary dragons when the stars align themselves, right? Two very special dragons appear in our world. Most dragons have certain elements, but these two have no elements until they are hatched. Many factors determine what elements these are special special dragons will become, but none more than the human that they are closest to. One of these dragons will become the Mighty Order Dragon, and the other will become the Terrible Chaos Dragon. But there is no way to see which is which until they fight their destined battle with each other alongside their human counterparts. The Chaos Dragon, the World Destroyer, might be the kindest might be with the kindest human alive, the Order Dragon might be enslaved to the world's worst villain. There are many, many prophecies about these two and the roles that they will play in history, but none can say which, their which will win their final battle. You cannot allow the White Dragon Box to remain in the hands of that monster. Alright, complete quest. You rescued the surviving Wind Temple priests from invading monsters, and in return you've gotten more information about sepulture and the dragon boxes. Alrighty. Uh, we'll keep that, because there might be, might be something I can do with that, I don't remember. Um, make weapons. I seem to remember there being more available as far as... Whatever. Fine, I will just do that quest again. There was, there was a... Uh, nah. There was a weapon I got one time by making it in Yulger's shop, but... I guess they changed it or something. Anyway. Healing potions, and now... Uh, darkness orb. I guess I have to go to the travel map. The Necropolis. Level 15 plus. Deep in the heart of Doomwood Forest lies the Necropolis, where the brave paladin Ardix battles the forces of darkness. Oh, take me there. I love this quest. Uh, yeah. Alright, so... I guess we could talk to him here. Please accept my apology or my apologies. I was so excited to actually meet you in person that I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Artix von Krieger. I am Art Krieger. I don't know. I am a paladin who has dedicated his entire life to battling the undead. We kind of already got this from uh, before, but you know, 
You can usually find me battling creatures, or the supernatural creatures in Doomwood. The highest concentration of undead can be found here. Moonridge. Moonridge is a nice town on the far eastern edge of Doomwood. The entire town is a giant shopping mall. That's interesting. Doomwood. Doomwood used to be a beautiful forest, and it had a different name. I know it. I know this because I was born and raised here before it happened. Necropolis. The Necropolis is a giant underground city of the dead. Necromancers and death knights go there to train. We must destroy it. Paladins. A paladin is a warrior of good who has dedicated their life to thwarting evil and protecting those in need. Through love and faith, a paladin is granted the power to overcome great evil. There are many people, or many different types of paladins. Perhaps one day you would train as a paladin. I would be honored to share with you what I have learned once we handle this undead situation. Yeah, you can actually become a paladin. And he even teaches you how to be... Well, not him specifically, but... Through Ardix, you can learn how to be a necromancer in Death Knight. I, uh... Never, um really jived too much with those, but they're, they were kind of cool to play around with for a little bit. Um, uh, what else was left? Necromancers. Necromancers. Furrow's Brow. They are, an evil, they are the evil spellcasters who abuse their magic to create and control the undead. Necromancers enslave the life force of their victims, trapping them in their skeletal cages and controlling them like puppets. Each undead you cross is, or cross is the result of this terrible magic, but by destroying the skeleton, you set the life force free. I can hear their voices in my mind, and they want to be free. That is why I battle. I will not stop until I free them all. Within the necropolis lays the secrets of this dark magic. I intended to destroy it and never let it happen to anyone again. Uh, yes, we will help you defeat them. Thank you. I know together we can stop the evil that the necromancers are spreading. Alright, quests. Haunted Castle, that was the one that he could give you. Um, in the beginning. Er, that's the one he would give you during, um, visiting him in Amity Vale. But he's got so many that it goes on to another page. It's crazy. Anyway. Uh, quests. Save Moon Ridge. There is one town in Doomwood that has managed to avoid being tainted by the darkness swallowing this land. Moon Ridge. As much as I want to get into this door to stop the necromancers in the necropolis, the people of Moon Ridge need our help first. Their town is being attacked by waves of the undead. We have to find out who is behind this. Alright. Um. Gather five undead slayer badges. Was this like a really early Friday the 13th war? Oh. Purple Necromantress, who has attacked Falcon Reach. Each Friday the 13th. Alright, so I have to get five of these medals. That shouldn't be too hard. Spare parts. The thing looks, uh, interesting. Skillamancer. It's also a kind of cool design. Mmm, suck it. We got the Necro Slime. Gotcha. Blood Wolf. I don't know if this is actually technically weak to 
Oh, it is. Okay, and it resists fire and darkness. That's cool. Excuse me. Alright. That's one. Uh, keep. Uh, five undead slayer badges. That is what we got, right? I didn't want to, like, be collecting Defender's medals or something, that would... Oh, good, Eretics missed one. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> this one was just one fight. Oh. I'll go ahead and keep that. Uh, four more. Oh, the spare parts thing is randomly generated, I forgot about that. That's cool though. Ooh, 213. Eretics, you animal. Got him. Da 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 da. Alright, so unfortunately this first quest isn't overwhelmingly interesting as far as what you have to do, but there are some genuinely funny parts of this whole story. Uh, I think that makes three, right? Yeah, alright, two more. Uh, strike from your dragon. We might as well give this a... Um, give this a whirl here. Just to show it off, if nothing else. Next, start level. Um, I think the idea is you have to, like, blow them up and get them to, like, chain react. I thought for at first that I was, like, making them blow up via clicking on more, but, like, if I click over here, I don't think that, yeah, okay. So it was, like, a chain reaction, and... Alright, so apologies for the weird cut there, because, uh, I got, like... Audacity, for some reason, decided to stop recording my microphone's audio, and I didn't notice until, like, half an hour later, so this is around where we were, is except we didn't have enough medals, so let's look at the boss fight here. Zorbak, what are you doing here? <laughs> you guys have an undead invasion, and I do not even get an invite. Someone is coming. Oh, it's the Necromantress. I must say, Rogue, I'm impressed that your friends defeated my army of undead minions. So you are the Necromancer behind this. Necromantress. Mantress. With an E-S-S. -S. Oh man, it's her. Meh, I've seen this girl around here before. Do you know- how is my fur? Do I smell okay? This girl? Hmm. I'm the most powerful necromantress in the entire necropolis. I used all of my finals. Your finals? Evil and smart. I think I'm in love. <laughs> yes, the necropolis is home to the largest school of necromancy on the face of lore, and I was the top student. Is it the face of lore if you've, uh, are, um, underground? She is so perfect. Hard. Your army has already been defeated. You are powerless. Surrender now, or else. Whoops. Haha, -ha. said like a true hero. You and your little blue pet here. Oh, he is not mine. Pet. Oh, heartbreak. Meh. 
You listen here. The only one who's going to take over the world is me. So you might as well quit that Necro Chump Club right now and join me. Or, meh, at least give me your number. <laughs> Zorbeck! What? <laughs> She's hot. Oh god. Well, it's been, it's been nice chatting, but I have souls to steal and a new army of undead to... You summoned me, Master? Ah, yes. Excellent timing, Alpha. Hero, meet my senior project, the Alpha Abomination. I made him myself. I must run heroes. Oh, I must run heroes. Good to see you. Alpha, take them to school. Sorry, an evil Moglin's gotta do what an evil Moglin's gotta do. Hey, Necro Girl, wait for me. Oh, Zorbeck, Metal Gear Solid exclamation point. Oh, that looks big. Whoa, the Necromantress may have just made the largest evil undead Mr. Potato Head. Oh, it's just a spare parts. That's mildly disappointing. Ah, uh, get him, Artix. Mmm. Nice. Gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha. Well, this is relatively simple. Dude's not even gonna get to attack. Hmm. Alright. So this Necromantris is behind the attacks. Once again, the purple-robed necro Necromantris has escaped into the dark reaches of Doomwood. If there is really an entire city of Necromancers below your feet, then Artix is right. You must get in that door. Uh, next time on Dragon Ball Z was the next thing there. So we can leave now. We didn't get too much further than this anyway, but whoops, we already have him as a friend. Yeah, see, we just got a couple down. Gatekeeper will be what we're going to. I'll do, I'll go, I think we're going to go up through the body shop and then probably call it a day. Anyway, Moonrage saved. You did it. Moonrage has been saved. The mayor has sent us a letter inviting us to a party to be held in our honor. You did it. We won. You're the big hero. <laughs> They're gonna hold a parade in your honor. <laughs> Sorry, I got sidetracked. It would mean a lot to these people if we show up. Are you ready to go to Moonridge? Good people of Moonridge. <clears throat> Woo, yahoo, hooray. Lend me your ears. Woo, yahoo, hooray. <laughs> Sally Ch- <laughs> Ew, Sally. Leave those leftover zombie parts on the ground. She chucked an ear at him. That's funny. Lend me your eyes. Oh, woo, yahoo, hooray. <laughs> this is fantastic. No throwing undead monster parts at the nice mayor. Lend me your har -oo. Okay, seriously, Sally, put that down. <laughs> you are in so much trouble when we get home, young lady. That's fantastic. Hmm. Today we celebrate the saviors of our home. Behold, our heroes, our hunter and Artix. Huzzah. Hooray. They selflessly came to Moonridge to rescue us and defeated the horde of the undead invaders. For this, I am proud to give you the key to the city. Ooh, a skeleton key. <laughs> There's something about that that cracks me up. We have a big night planned, including pin the tail on Harvey, the tailless donkey. But first, if there is anything the grateful people of Moonridge can ever... Excuse me, Mayor, I would like to meet and personally thank our heroes. Question marks. She looks kind of like Nathera. Or however you're supposed to pronounce Warlick's uh, apprentice's name. So, the two of you single-handedly defeated the Necromantress's army. We did our best. Hey, that's my line. You go first. Stop copying me. Snickerdoodle. <laughs> oh, that's great. I love that. Whoa, that was weird. That whole bit was fantastic. I love it. 
Defeating an undead army of that strength requires a great deal of skill and power. That was quite impressive. Let me be the first to personally thank you. Please forgive her, heroes. Lady Vale is very strange. Did you say Vale? Exclamation points. It is just I knew a girl named Vale once when I was a young boy. Could this be the same Vale I met when I was little? It's impossible. This cannot be the same little boy I met during the... Sally, get out of there this instant. I thought I told you to stop playing with the... Oh, rumble, rumble. But Mom, look. When I poke this thing under the stage with a stick, it moves. Oh, why did I ever move here? Gasp. OMG. All spelled out and everything. <laughs> this feels like the kind of thing that should have sound effects with it. Artix. Oh, he caught that board. Artix, he saved me. Let me help you. I can hold. That monster grabbed the little girl. You go save her. I'm on it. <laughs> Careful, he looks heavily armed. Oh, yes, he does. Alright. Hey, you big pile of phones over here. Alright. Armageddon. I love this game. Uh, slash bam, 